Our top story at six, the Supreme Court of Virginia has ruled the state can take down a massive statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee that became a symbol of racial injustice. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. And I'm Julie Bragg. And for Candace, the statue has towered over Monument Avenue in Richmond for more than a century. Our Cameron Thompson is live to tell us how people are reacting to today's news. Cam? Yeah, and Julie, starting with Governor Ralph Northam, who issued the order to remove this statue, starting this whole saga, calling this decision a tremendous win for the people of Virginia and that it is a step towards a more conclusive and just future. I'm really excited for it to come down because it's been up for a minute. This has basically been propaganda in bronze that we've lived with all these years. Just some of the reactions from people on Monument Avenue Thursday who came out shortly after the Virginia Supreme Court potentially cleared the way for the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee to be removed. We want to get it gone. back to, uh, to a community space. Like I Open it, yeah, just free for everybody. Two lawsuits blocked Governor Ralph Northam's order to remove them, one from nearby residents and another from descendants of the people who gifted the land to Virginia where the statue stands. CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone says they tried to argue the covenant for the land meant the state had to protect the statue in perpetuity. The court disagreed unanimously. A land grant cannot dictate what sort of speech the government is going to have in perpetuity. So it's an unenforceable covenant if it is a covenant. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring's office defended the removal efforts throughout. They must now come down as a part of a deliberate and intentional effort to heal and move forward together. And Virginia Legislative Black Caucus Chair Delegate Lamont Bagby adds the court followed where Virginia is today. And that is where we are moving to more uh, towards justice uh, in every corner of the Commonwealth and every facet of the Commonwealth. But groups like Sons of Confederate Veterans say they are disheartened but not surprised by the decision. It sets up a very poor legal precedence uh, that uh, current public policy, which is, is a whim, uh, supersedes the very law itself. With this decision, the injunction stopping the 12-ton statue's removal has been dissolved, but Stone says the plaintiffs can appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. There's a chance that if they were to do that, that there could be another injunction put in place, at least temporarily. When asked about that possibility, Herring says he hopes the plaintiffs see the power of this decision and won't delay the process any further. But I'll say this, uh, if they try, we will be there to oppose it. Uh, this statute is coming down. Now, we have reached out to the plaintiffs for the attorneys for the two plaintiffs and have only heard back from one who said he had no comment at this time. Meanwhile, Governor Northam says they've been planning for this statue's removal for months and are starting to get that ball rolling. But because of all of the safety precautions they need to put in place for that to happen, there likely won't be any action this week.